Hi, Mabel and I are here today to reverse sear a prime rib. Now, it's a new way for me to do it. We actually cook it low and slow in an oven. We're talking around 150 degrees to 200. That'll increase the time it cooks, but it'll give us a very even, nice cook, and then we'll blast it with heat at the very end. Now, it's new to me, so let's get it started. We season this with salt and pepper for four hours prior. Then we set it out on the counter to let it sit for two hours. Now we're ready to place it in the oven. So let's get it in and we'll take a look at it when we get to our tin. We finished roasting our rib. It's to our desired temperature. You can go ahead and take your probe up at this point. And we're gonna take some aluminum foil and tint it. Now we're gonna let it rest for a minimum of 30 minutes, up to an hour and a half. And then when your guests get there, you're ready to serve, that's when we'll brown it. We're gonna turn our oven up prior to that to preheat to 500 degrees to brown it. Let's see what this reverse sear is all about. Let's see, we've got those brown bits that I love. That's that caramelization you really want in a prime rib. Now the proof's in the pudding. We've cooked this to medium rare. Let's take a look. In the end, oh my goodness, look at that. 